Hi, Amir here, and today we're going to talk about how to protect ourselves from a microbial or a viral adversary. So when you think about an army, um, an army, when it's coming to battle, isn't generally made up of just one type of skilled uh, soldier. There are various types of skilled soldiers that are on the battlefield that are fighting for an army for it to have a fighting chance of survival or winning. Uh, for instance, there are infantrymen, there's horsemen, there's uh, archers, and the like, and on and on. And the more diverse and the more skilled the soldiers are, the more, uh, the higher the chance is that they will win the battle. So it's the same situation here. Um, when a virus or a super virus or a super bug, when it comes to attack our bodies, we need to uh, have a, a full army of microbes and viruses, uh, friendly viruses, to be able to overcome any super virus. Now, there are exceptions, of course, some break through, but it's this well-balanced army of our own, which is basically usually termed as immunity, that um, will help us overcome and survive past or give us the best survival chances of uh, overcoming this adversary. So how do you achieve this? What does it really mean to have a balanced body? Well, there are three main aspects that contribute to your well-being. And if I just draw it like this, there's the environment, there's your food, and there's your genes or your genetics. Genetics. So we're just gonna talk about this for now. Certainly these play a role and certainly that plays a role. But for now, let's just talk about this because this is one of the main contributors. No matter what this offers, the environment is this, the, the food is going to be your best defense or something that you have in your direct control that you can contribute to right now to your diverse army that is going to overcome this. We all know that we have to eat good food in order to have a good immunity. Everybody talks about it, and that's, there's nothing new. But what is food? You know, you can eat Twinkies, but is that gonna make you healthy? Obviously, that's uh, a, an exaggerated example. At the very base of it, we get our food from soil. We do get our food from sea, and perhaps we get some food from air, but very, very little. I think the biggest food or the most food that we get from air that's the most popular are chickens, but they don't even fly. But those chickens are actually getting their food from the soil. Even the sea, if the soil is sick, as is evident today that a lot of the soils around the world are, are sick in fact, and they're contributing to wash-offs of chemicals that are applied to soil into the sea and it's affecting the, micro, the, the fish the, the nature of the fish populations in the sea, that's even at risk. In fact, 85% of the sea, the oceans, our oceans have been exploited for their fish life and they're at risk. So we are now left with something that's in our direct control, which is the soil. Because a lot of the food that we're getting from the supermarkets are coming from far off lands. And if you walk into a supermarket today and ask them where the lettuce came from, you'd be hard pressed for an answer, number one, but you wanna know what was the source that that soil, that that lettuce grew in. Now, there is this balance between organic versus conventional, and um, organics are super expensive versus the conventional alternative, but that is where your fighting chance is gonna be. Orga um, conventional, vegetables basically means that the food is being obliterated with fertilizers which are basically chemicals and they're com contributing to an imbalance in the soil which is leading to an imbalance in the plant and obviously it's going to lead to an imbalance in the minerals that we get that's going to affect our ability to fight off any viral or bacterial adversary that's coming at us so um, the other alternative for an urban environment is to grow your own food and to really empower yourself. 
and take control of what you're putting into your body so that you have a fighting chance and a best, the best microbial army or viral army to be able to overcome any adversaries. In subsequent videos, we're gonna talk more about what that means. What is healthy soil and what does it mean for a soil to be balanced? Until next time.